Hello my dears and welcome back to my corner of the internet. I'm Shannon and today I have another spoiler free book review to share with you guys. And today we are talking about Everything the Darkness Eats by Eric LaRocca. So this is the third book I have read written by Eric. I've read Things Have Gotten Worse Since We Last Spoke and I've also read The Trees Grew Because We Bled There. And um, actually a couple of weeks ago, um, Eric actually emailed me and asking if he could send a copy of this book to me because he had seen the two other reviews I had done on those two books. And um, I was thrilled. I said, absolutely, I would love to read it. So before we get too much into it, I will tell you that it definitely is a dark story. It's also short. It um, It's a nice little like one sitting, one or two sitting book, which I love those, especially when you're in a bit of a reading slump and you need to get out. This would be perfect for that. Um, but yeah, like I said, you might want to proceed with caution if things with dark themes upset you. This one I would say has um, violence and it has um, extremely, extremely um, hateful homophobia and a very uncomfortable assault scene. So just keep that in mind. But now let's get into it. Um, we've got some, a few points of view. We have sort of three main characters. We have um, an older gentleman named Mr. Crowley and he is driving around town in this fancy car. <laughs> we have a police officer, Malik. Um, him and his husband live in this same small New England town. And then we have a man named Ghost. He's a widower. And whenever he introduces himself, he says Ghost like Halloween. <laughs> um, I think that's such a great first name. Anyway, so what's happening in this town is people are going missing. There's been a handful of them now and we see two of them. We get to see two of them personally going missing and they are being taken by Mr. Crowley for reasons that we don't know at first. <laughs> then, like I said, Ghost, he's a widower. He's, um, he's very lonely. There's a lot of grief in this book, um, which I love. I, I love stories about grief. I feel like it's one of those things that we all experience like you're not going to get through life without experiencing grief and the ways that different people deal with it i find so interesting so right up right off the bat i love that about this book he lost his wife and she was pregnant with their child in a terrible accident and that has kind of set the course for the rest of his life up until now just this grief and um it's kind of hard to talk about it because without giving any spoilers away because it is such a short volume. But yeah, so that's basically it. There's a small town. People are going missing. We know this older guy. He's taken him. We don't know why. Um, Ghost eventually becomes involved in the situation. And Malik is trying to figure out what happened to the people. That's kind of where his story begins. Um, from there, things go very badly for him <laughs> um, in very terrible ways. <clears throat> Pardon me, I keep having to pause this video because um, I live to cough because I live in Alberta up in Canada and um, right now we're in the middle of forest fire season, I guess. Normally it does not start this early, but it's been so hot. There's currently 88 fires burning in a relatively small province and um, the smoke in my town, luckily there's no fires too close by but the smoke is so thick that I keep having coughing fits and um, it's just you look outside and there's just an orange haze to the sky and anyway <laughs> um, I loved this and I think if you liked Eric's other books I think you'd probably like this one as well it's different but I mean it still felt like him and um, what else? I, I love the prose. I thought it was beautifully written. I know some people maybe... I don't know. I really shouldn't speak on behalf of others. But I feel like just based on from what I've talked with um, other readers, not about this book, but just in general, I'm not entirely sure that everyone will love the prose, but I did. And um, my only complaint in general about the book was uh, I wish it was longer. There were some things I wish I knew more 
about, like Mr. Crowley in general. We didn't get a whole ton of backstory on him, which I guess is intentional. He's meant to be a sort of mysterious type of character, but I would have loved to have known more about him. Um, one thing I did love, though, was the way that Malik's the police officer, the way his story ties into Ghost and Mr. Crowley's story. I thought that was very clever, very well done. I enjoyed it a lot. There was something about the whole vibe of the book that kind of gave me Needful Things by Stephen King, those sort of same feelings. It's not, it's not a similar story per se, but just similar vibes for me. And I liked that because I really loved Needful Things. So yeah, I guess that's really all I can say about it without spoiling anything. But like I said, mark your calendars for June 3rd if this sounds like something you would enjoy. And uh, thanks again to Eric LaRocca and his publisher for sending me this, this copy of this book. Um, yes, thank you for the copy of this book. And um, I look forward to reading what Eric writes in the future. I think he's a very talented writer. And I, I'll be keeping my eye, on, eye out for sure. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe, give it a like. That helps me out a ton. And I will see you guys again real soon for either another spoiler-free book review or perhaps a book talk coming up next. Bye, guys.